I want you to smell me coming. I want you to smell me after I left. I'm that obnoxious with my fragrance. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we're filming from a little bit of a different angle because I was asked to show my fragrance collection. And this was something I actually thought about doing before I was asked. So just figured this is the perfect time to do it. I'm batch filming today. So yes, you have seen this look. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, this is just a brief little overview. I'll move the camera for a better look in a second. Just want to get through the intro. Welcome you to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. So, you know, when I upload, I do lots of hauls, lots of hauls, lots of makeup, lots of tutorials, reviews, a little bit of fitness, hair, nails, everything related to beauty. So. I won't keep you waiting. If you would like to see my fragrance collection, stay tuned to keep on watching. All right, so I am not about to sit here and try to look up all the notes and everything <laughs> because this video would take forever. I'm just gonna show you the collection and then if y'all have any questions, you can comment below and I will try to answer all of them. So we'll just start this way. This is mostly all of them. I do know for a fact I have one of my dossier fragrances in the car, Ambery Saffron, which is their version of Baccarat Rouge 540. I do also have some smaller ones in my purse. Um, I do have this Kayali Pistachio Gelato. I have a smaller version of that in my purse. I have a few little small versions of different, like just samples and trials, trial sizes that I've gotten. Kind of stashed all over the house in the bathroom. Um, what else? My Lux SB subscription I used to have. I've partnered with them. I have some small samples of those. Just like, I don't know what you call those, the little roller balls? Yeah, something like that. Um, I have those in my purse as well. So also in my bathroom. But this is what y'all really want to see. So we're just going to start here. This is the Lake and Sky 1111 perfume. I smelled this at Ulta just randomly one day and thought it smelled so good. Very clean. This is Floral Rose, which I believe is their dossier's version of Tom Ford Rose Prick, pretty sure. I thought I didn't like this, or is it Santal's, not Santal, um, Lilabo's Rose. I don't remember, but it's one of those. Smelled this, the original, didn't like it, and then smelled it on somebody else and liked it, and then decided to buy this version of it. Also have Ambery Cedarwood. This is their version of Creed Adventus, I think. I did a short on this one, smells really, really good. And then this is Floral Marshmallow. Killian Love Don't Be Shy, I believe, is the their version. This is their version of that. Just added this one to the collection. I got this in a set. This is Clinique Happy which I sprayed today, just testing it out. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue with that citrus scent to it. I feel like this smells so much like high school for me, but it's still something I would wear just for day to day. Not for a date, but like just, I want to throw something on real quick, probably keep it in the car for if I forgot to put something on. This back here is oh, Escada Miami Blossom. This is really fruity and I remember, who was it? Lizzie. What would Lizzie do? I think is the name of her channel. She suggested this a long time ago and I was like, I just have to try it. I love scents like this for spring and summer. Very light, very fruity, little bit of floral, very soft every day. Back here I have a, oh, so this is the perfume oil. So I found this at the cosmetics company store years ago. This is Santal 33, but it is the oil. I can take this out the box. I was just being extra. Um, I absolutely love this fragrance and this is so potent. Oh my God, I love this. But I feel like this is something, 
I don't know how much I would actually wear this on me, but this is also something I would put in a diffuser. I would love my house to smell like this. So this is something that is very expensive, but I got it super cheap at the cosmetics company store. Back here, I have a backup of this fragrance here. This is Burberry for women. I don't think it is any kind of like Burberry Her or anything like that. It's just Burberry for women. I found this at Marshall's, $40. And I have gotten a lot of compliments when I wear this. It is pretty light. So this is something, again, I wear kind of every day or also to the gym. I want to smell good when I go to the gym. I don't want to smell like funk and sweat and outside and chalk and neoprene and whatever else. So I always spray a little bit of something to just make myself smell good and girly. This is Juliet Has a Gun Pear Ink. I bought the full size of this one because I got the rollerball size of this in my Lux SB subscription and I absolutely loved it. I remember this was in one of the Sephora sampler sets and so i bought the sampler set for like 65 bucks maybe and then got this big bottle you trade in your coupon from the sampler set to get the big bottle so i felt that was very much so worth the price this was my first juliet has a gun fragrance and this one's not a perfume which was so confusing to me because i'm like if it's not a perfume what is it and i was like does it not smell like anything this smells very similar to this one. I just think this one is a little stronger. I just love the smell of this. This is like clean, just mm, scrumptious, like love that smell. This is one of my all time favorites. This is my Burberry blush. I love warm florals. At my core, I am a warm floral girl. If it says it's a warm floral, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna like it. I absolutely love this. Oh, this smells so good. I haven't worn this in so long. I do have a backup <laughs> because this used to be my go-to. I need to wear this every time I had a special occasion. So when I got was able to get it on sale, I did buy a backup, but I absolutely love this. One of my all-time favorites. This is Erin Amber Musk. I just recently got this from the cosmetics company store. I love ambery fragrances if it says cashmere or like that warm musky kind of scent I thought the bottle on this was absolutely gorgeous and yeah I love how this smells I do feel like if I'm completely honest it's a little mature but I still feel like a lot of ambery stuff is so I make it work this is also one of my favorites for every day this is max turquatic when this first came out, I smelled it. Absolutely love it. I feel like I have a backup somewhere of this. I don't know where it is. Or is this? Oh, maybe I used the other one and this is my backup. That might be the case. I don't know because I feel like it would be up here. I don't put them anywhere else. So I might have a backup of this somewhere or this is my backup that is now open. This is Tory Burch Nui Azure. I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is another one, kind of reminds me. Mm, it's kind of unisex, a little bit, a lot of bit, because I also bought another Tory Burch one. I'm picturing the bottle, but I can't think of the name that I thought was gonna be unisex, but it is definitely more masculine. I'm gonna have to try it on again to make sure. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead, since I don't have anything on and I'll let that dry. This is Ariana Grande Cloud. I bought this right after my birthday when I got my first bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540 because I was like, okay, that is expensive and I wanna wear this a lot, but I'm not, that bottle was like $400. I'm not spraying that every day. So I heard that this was supposed to be a dupe. It's similar, but it's not a dupe, but I feel like you can kind of get away with wearing it interchangeably if it's for everyday kind of vibes, not like you want the real thing, you're going on a date, wear, wear the Baccarat Rouge. If you just want to kind of smell like it, still have that elegant, clean fragrance, you can wear that one too. 
This I've had for a while. This was one of the first, when I bought a Sephora sampler, one of the first fragrances that I ended up picking out of all of them. This is the, it was back then Kat Von D Saint perfume. They had a Saint and a Sinner. I can't smell much now anymore since I have all this stuff on me. Um, so yeah, I just, I thought the bottle was cute and I do like how this smells. So every now and then I do still spray that. We're going to skip to back here because after I got my big bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540, I wanted to travel with it. So when Nordstrom had a sale, I went and bought the travel set. So it comes with the little vaporizer and then you get, if I can open this, four or five? Five. This was upside down. You get five little travel bottles of the scent so I gave one to my little sister because she loved it and then these are the other three I have and then there's one that's in the vaporizer that is on my nightstand I used to travel with this and then my bag kept getting pulled by TSA and I couldn't figure out why and one of the agents told me that it looks like a gun clip so that's why they keep pulling it so I took it out of my bag because I was tired of that this is one of the fragrances that I got for my birthday this year. This is by Rado Mojave Ghost. This smells so good. So, so good. I stayed at that counter smelling all of them to try to see which one I wanted because this is pretty pricey. I think it was around $300. Um, but that was the one that I was just like, hands down, have to have it. What was the other one I got? Yes, I did leave it in Houston. I was about to have a fit. The other one I got is the Maison, whatever the MFK is. <laughs> I got 724, which is the clean kind of, I forgot, aquatic kind of, I think it's a clean, I forgot how they label it. But I have that at in Houston. I also have the Fenty perfume in Houston. Um, I feel like there's another one that I can't think of. I'm trying to picture, but it's been a while since I've been back. So I do have a few in Houston as well. So I don't have to travel with full size. I will confess in the box down here, the Fenty fragrance went on sale this year and I picked up a backup because I wanted to have it here. So that's in one of these boxes back here, but not up here. Where was I? Killian. This I got from the cosmetics company store. This is Killian. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Very sweet, but not too. Like I like sweet, but I don't like vanilla sweet. And I don't feel like this has vanilla in it, but it's sweet. I've gotten compliments on this one as well. I guess we'll go this way and then go back. This is the Bulgari. Which one is this? It doesn't say... Yeah, Omnia Amethyst. I got this, I believe, when I was coming back from Mexico, I think, during in the uh, duty-free area. I got this because it was purple. It smells good. I do wear it, but I honestly was like, I think I like this scent and it's purple, so I need to get it. This one I got for the packaging because I think this bottle is absolutely gorgeous. This is the crystalline one, I think. Omnia floral. So another floral also smells good, but again, that was more for the packaging than the smell. Found this one at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is Calvin Klein Euphoria Blush. I have learned that if something says blush, I'm probably gonna like it because nine times out of 10, it's a warm floral. Yeah, this smells good. It doesn't smell as warm as my Burberry blush. I feel like it has a little more fruity floral warmth than the other, but still an amazing scent and it's not expensive. This is, I bought from Sephora on sale. This is the Dahlia Divin by Givenchy. I don't know if I smelled this in store or if I just read the notes and was like, I'm gonna get it because it's on sale. It smells good. I don't wear it often. I feel like I remember it kind of smelling a little mature, but it's still one of the ones that you can pull off. This is the Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato. I did not think I was going to like this. Everybody was talking about it. 
and I went to the store during the Sephora sale last, was it spring? Did I get this spring or last fall? Whenever it came out, I smelled it. They were out of this size and they had the smaller purse size one. So I got that and then I sprayed it and I was like, Jesus Christ, I need the big bottle. So I have the purse one in my purse and then I have this one. This smells so good and it is so strong. I love I want you to smell me coming. I want you to smell me after I left. I'm that obnoxious with my fragrance. I don't wear a lot in small spaces, but if I'm outside, you're gonna smell me. This is Burberry Her. I got this simply because I remember hearing people talk about it and I was like, I wanna have it, but I didn't wanna buy the big bottles. So I got this cute little travel size set. This smells really, really good. I think this is also a warm floral, definitely a floral. Um, but yeah, I remember hearing somebody talk about it during the Sephora sale. So I figured I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Still see, so I don't have to move the camera yet. This is Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy Intense. I love Jo Malone fragrances. I know some people don't like them. They think they're too pricey and they don't last very long but I feel like they do last if you put enough on. Yes, they're pricey, but I just feel like they have some of the most unique scents. I love this one. And it's an intense one, so it lasts long. I also have Jo Malone Wisteria and Lavender. This one's fairly new to my collection. This one is clean. Yeah, that smells so good. I found that one at the CCO. This is Peony and Blush Suede. This was the very first Jo Malone fragrance that I got. Absolutely love warm floral. Is this turning? I can't, hold on. I gotta let that sit because I haven't worn this in a while and I know that some fragrances have a shelf life, but like some of these, I think I just recently got rid of some that I've literally had for 10 or 15 years and they were fine. So we're gonna see, but I feel like that smells a little different than what I remember. This is also by Jo Malone. This is Red Hibiscus. Absolutely love, this is so good. One of my favorites. I just got this one. This is Silk Blossom. I had the diffuser first and I loved it. And then I just picked this one up during my last trip to the cosmetics company store, 50% off. I showed that one. This was a gift with purchase. This is Estee Lauder Modern Muse. It's okay, a little mature. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna keep this. And then I sprayed it and wore it to work. And I was like, you know what? This isn't bad. So I'm gonna keep it. I have two of these Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Charosa number 68. These do kind of remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540, not 100%, but I love wearing this to the gym. And I also have the um, Bum Bum Creams that are Boom Boom, whatever you call them, that I have the firming lotion that goes with that scent. Yeah, I think that scent has gone bad, y'all. I've had this forever, not forever, but I don't know how long these are supposed to last, but that is pretty disappointing. It just smells a lot sweeter than I remember right now. So that's making me wanna go back and smell it again in the store to see, because maybe I don't love it as much as I love the other ones. Could be that. Next row, yes, this is Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. Again, another blush, so I thought I was gonna love it. And I do, kinda has an amber scent to it. Michael Kors Super Gorgeous is one of the ones I have in Houston. This is Michael Kors Gorgeous. I thought they were the same, but Michael Kors Super Gorgeous has a little bit more of an amber scent to it is the way it was explained to me. So they do smell different. But I do like how this one smells too. I, what I did, because originally I did not want to pay full price for Super Gorgeous, was I went and got this Michael Kors Sexy Amber and I sprayed them together. This is another one of my new favorites. This is the YSL, I'm seeing the name. This shit is way too small on the bottom. YSL, what is the name of this? Yes, YSL Montpellier Intense Version. Smelled this, 
Oh, this smells so good. This is one of my favorites. Smell this also on the way back from Mexico. And I was like, yes, I need to have it. This is a fruity floral, but it has a white musk base, which I absolutely love. This is Alien Goddess, I believe, by Mugler. I tried one of the other Alien perfumes and I absolutely hated it. The purple bottle was bad. I got one of their limited edition rainbow bottles, which I think it was still just the original version. Did not like it too much patchouli, but this one really, really good. Sun Kissed Hibiscus by Nest, also one of my all time favorites. Smelled this, had to have it. It used to be one of my most worn fragrances. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This I got in a small bottle because I had this years ago. This was one of the first high-end fragrances I ever bought and my ex had a fit. Like, I can't believe you spent a hundred and something dollars on that set, but it was the body wash, the perfume, and it was a big bottle of the perfume and the lotion. So I was like, uh, hello, this is worth it. But <laughs> yeah, I got the side eye for that one. This is La Vie Belle by Lancome. This is a warm floral. I like it, but she's a little mature. She's a little mature, so I don't wear her a lot, but I got her on sale for 50% off. So that's why I was like, it's fine. This right here, Versace Dill in Purple. I like this. I, I got this for the bottle because it's purple. It smells good, but I also got this in one of the Sephora sampler kits. And I just, yeah, I was like, out of all the ones in there, I like this one and it's purple, so I want it. Versace Dillon Turquoise, one of my all-time favorites. Oh, this smells so good. This smells so, so good. Definitely, this is my favorite of all of the Dillons. This is Dillon Blue. This is my least favorite. It smells good, but compared to all the other ones, it's my least worn. And then I also have, pull both of these together. This is Versace Bright Crystal, which I'm almost out of this one. This was one of my favorites for a long time. And then I got this small bottle of the Absolute, which is a stronger version of that one. Yeah, this smells so good. The last two back here, these are both Jimmy Choo. This is Jimmy Choo Blossom. Again, kind of blush, kind of floral. Absolutely love this one too. Yes, this smells so good. And then this one, what is the name of this one? I forgot. Okay, this says it's called Jimmy Choo Floral Edit. It's a floral. I love it. So I found this on a discount at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So definitely was worth it. I'm going to see if I can turn the camera to get this other side. We are almost done. All right. So now we move into my Ellis Brooklyn's. I showed y'all this one. This is, but I didn't say this is a Fleur Missing Person. I actually love how this smells, but it's too soft. Smells really good, but just way too dainty. If it's not enough punch for me for that one. This is Ellis Brooklyn Myth. This is one of my first Ellen, Ellis Brooklyn scents. Absolutely love this. I have a travel size of this one as well that's in the bathroom. Also have a travel size of that Aaron Musk one because it came in a set. This is Ellis Brooklyn Sci-Fi. I think this is the one that is a, what do they call these? Oriental something. But this one's different than what I normally wear. So sometimes if I just want to switch things up, I'll grab that one. This is Ellis Brooklyn Fawn. This is also different. It kind of smells like something I smelled earlier. I don't know, but smells good. This is Valentino Voce Viva. Is that the name of this? Why don't they put the names on here? I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. This is the intense version though. This is another one that smells absolutely amazing. Definitely more of a winter scent if you care about that. Prada Candy Night. Love this one. A little sweet, but also has that musk for evening versus the original Prada Candy. 
This is Giorgio Armani C. I bought this because it was a warm floral and I'm like, you're going to love all warm florals. This one smells good, but it's not necessarily one of my favorites. This back here is Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli. This is a floral citrus scent. This smells good. I wear it sometimes if I just want to throw something on and smell clean and just have something. Um, that is one of the ones that I got in a Sephora set. And at the time I wasn't looking at what I thought I was going to like the most. I just wanted the most bang for my buck. And that was the biggest bottle that cost the most. So I paid $65 for the sampler set and that bottle is like $135. So I picked it for the price instead of the scent. This, I have a big... Yeah, back there. This is Tom Ford Soleil Neige. I bought one of the big, big bottles that you just use to refill. And then I bought this little bottle off of Amazon just so I could have it to travel. But this is one of my favorite, not my all time favorite, but one of my favorite Tom Ford scents. So Put that in there just to have a small version, easy to use. This is my Baccarat Rouge 540. Also bought the intense one. This is Michael Kors Sexy Ruby. I like how this one smells. This one I do smell warm floral, a little more patchouli. Patchouli is hit or miss with me. I can't do it if it's too strong. This is the Sexy Amber. We talked about this. These two back here are also Michael Kors fragrances. This is Exotic Blossom and Sky Blossom. So florals, but one is a little more warm and the other is a little more citrusy. Both of these smell so good. I love Michael Kors. That is like most of my purses are Michael Kors. I have a pair of shoes. Like, I don't know what it is about that brand, but I just feel like it can really do no wrong for me. This, the rest of these are Tom Ford back here and all the way back to the front. This is a body spray Mandarino de Amalfi. I wear this to the gym. This is very unisex, but when I just want to make sure I smell clean and still smell like a little something, I wear that. White suede is my all time favorite Tom Ford fragrance. I found the all over body spray. So I was like, yes, I need that. And then I also have, I feel like I have two of these. I have a small one. I'm missing some perfumes. I'm going to have to see where I put them because now that I'm thinking of my turquatic that's missing, I'm going to find them because I feel like I have another, maybe it's back there. Hold on. We'll get to it. Tom Ford Rose Prick. I was not going to buy this and then I smelled it. And I liked it. And here's my thing. I honestly just want to like Tom Ford fragrances so much that some of them, I don't love them, but because I'm getting them at such a great price at the cosmetics company store, I buy them. They are an investment. White suede, like I said, is my favorite. This one, Oud Fleur. Nothing about me is a Oud girl at all. And I remember the lady told me, I think I paid like $90 for this and y'all know how expensive these are. And I was like, it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like me. And I'm like, well, you already have a bunch of stuff that smells like you. So if you're going to venture out and you can get Tom Ford to venture out for a fraction of the cost, you should do it. The lady explained to me that the best way to wear these is by layering them, which I never layer my fragrances. And so she was like, get this one and then layer it with something sweet. I layered it. Oh, these are so hard to pick up with bitter peach y'all in love. I wore this to work the other day. I will try stuff on at work because not everybody doesn't go in the office every day. So if some, most of the time I'm like, nobody's going to smell you if it's bad, but these two together, oh my God, like I cannot wait for another date night because I'm probably going to wear this. I should take these out the boxes cause they are really hard to pick up. The top comes off. This back here is Santal Blush, which I was like, you're going to absolutely love this because it says it's a blush. I do love it. But again, Tom Ford, it's like the initial. Here's the thing with me. Tom Ford, I smell it. I don't like it. 
I spray it on me. I don't like it. Two hours later, I smell it and I'm like, damn, that smells good. What was that? So I've started trying to trust if I kind of like the initial, get it or put it on, walk around the store for a little while. Remember what I sprayed and then get it. This is my newest Tom Ford. Yes, this is Velvet Orchid. It was 75 bucks. I think on sale again, it's purple smells good, but it's purple. Then there's some, oh yeah. Okay. I'm not tripping. Here's my other white suede. I was about to have a fit. <laughs> yeah. So I have a backup of that. I feel like anytime I could find white suede, I'm not going to get another backup now, but if I ever run out of those bottles and I see another one, I'm going to get a backup because it's expensive. These two back here, this pulls out. I don't know why I'm making this so hard on myself. This is another rose. I'm going to just pull both of these right now because they want to slide out the box. Okay, these are the last two. So this is Rose D'Amalfi. I've never been a big rose girl until I tried that damn rose one from Dossier. And then I was like, I like rose. Very clean. This one's kind of light. It's not a heavy scent, but you do smell the rose, but it smells really, really good. And then this is Venetian Bergamot. I feel like anything that said it had Bergamot in it for a while made, was made for me. So when I saw this one, I was like, I need it and I need the big, I think this was my first Tom Ford because it said Bergamot. And I was like, this is the only one I'm gonna like if I like any of them. Yeah, and then the obsession just grew from there. So I think that is all of my fragrances. Again, minus the ones that are scattered around the house or in Texas. Um, but yeah, that is my collection. I'll try to remember that as three in Texas that I can remember to add in, but I think it's like 80 bottles I've counted. I love to smell good. I will wear perfume every day, even if I'm just sitting in the house because I want to smell myself. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, let me know, are any of these your favorites? Any of these you don't like? Anything I need to try? I love hearing from you guys. I love recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new, I hope you join the family. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,